The book of Joel is a delightful little prophetic book. In the Old Testament, Joel prophesied to both the northern and the southern kingdoms of Israel, and his message is one that's very familiar to those of you that know anything about prophecy. It's repent, people. He says in chapter 1, verse 13, put on sackcloth and lament, which is part of repentance. O priests, wail, O ministers of the altar. Go in, pass the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God, because grain offering and drink offering are withheld from the house of your God. Consecrate a fast. Call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land to the house of the Lord your God and cry out to the Lord. Joel talks about the day of the Lord, something that Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Amos, Obadiah, Zephaniah, Malachi also talk about. And for the prophets, that's not one day, but both a present and a future idea that do not wait to call upon the Lord with lament and repentance. And I'm using these terms interchangeably because lament is part of repentance and is frankly part of being a human with any knowledge of the love and mercy and justice of God and any knowledge of the lack of love and utter lack of mercy and wild injustice rampant in the world. As humans and Christians, we learn to lament individually We learn to lament with our spiritual community. We learn to repent, which begins with lament. Uh, The Westminster Shorter Catechism, question 87, says, What is repentance unto life? Which is a, a, a phrase that reminds us that obedience to Christ is not a sorrowful move, but a move towards life. Repentance unto life is a saving grace whereby a sinner, out of a true sense of his sin and apprehension of the mercy of God in Christ, does, with grief and hatred of his sin, turn from it unto God with full purpose of and endeavor after new obedience. In chapter 2, we have this beautiful verse. After God describes the day of the Lord, he says, Yet even now, this is chapter 2, verse 12 and 13, declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Quoting the Exodus, and so many times that the Lord makes himself known to the people of Israel. God goes on in chapter 3, or 2, excuse me, verse 19, the Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending to you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied. And I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. This is a reminder that God never forgets his people because it is his character to remember them, even as he is also holy and therefore will judge both his people and those who are not yet his people or those who have turned away. And he says in chapter 3, verse 16, the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the people of Israel. And as we think about the day of the Lord and lament and repentance, we remember that we are led into those things because of the very character of the Lord, who will not ignore sin and without repentance will leave us to harmful and destructive lives individually and corporately for the church. And yet lament as a part of repentance brings us into new life with him and his very character is expecting us to do this, is encouraging us to not wait. Even now, says the Lord, return to me. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Our actual motivation and emotions and intellect are to turn to him, and we are not simply to perform religious activities. And we return to him knowing that in him and in him alone is life, love, mercy, justice, and peace. The good news is that the character of God is good. In the New Testament, we see this lived out in the life of Jesus and then given to the church through the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, we see it most often in the character of God and how he is constantly encouraging his people with the hard news that them turning away from him is costly and the good news that because of his character, we can always return and receive new life. Mm -hmm.